What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and today we're taking a look at a premium dash cam from Vantop. This is a brand new 4K mirror 12 inch LCD panel. It also has voice controls so you can have hands free action. A little bit more about that later on. But it checks all the right boxes so far. You get GPS, you get a built in battery, you get the brand new Sony IMX415 8 megapixel sensor giving us 4K recording in the front, 1080 in the back, or you can split the difference 2K and 2K. There's a lot of ways that you can set this up depending on your needs. Max supported card size of 128, so right away this is providing a lot of premium features that other dash cams just can't match right now. But let's just go ahead and check out the Vantop dash cam together. If you're interested in picking it up, check my link down below, but let's get into it and see what it's all about. As always, with any dash cam, I always recommend a hardwire kit. It just means you're going to have a much cleaner installation, you're going to have a much nicer looking camera in your car. You don't want this to look like something that came out of Frankenstein's garage, you actually want to do a decent job. And with a hardwire kit, you can actually hide it between your pillars, you can do a lot of nice things while continuing to give it power. But one of the awesome things about the Vantop dash cam here, not only is it a very high quality dash cam, unlike some other dash cams on the market, the Vantop has a built in battery. So it's always going to be able to record, even if you don't choose to get the hardwire kit. This way you can keep your cigarette lighter for other things. The built-in battery means that you'll always be able to have that parking monitor enabled and not worry about providing constant power. That's definitely a huge plus to having this Vantop dash cam. Taking a look at the top of the camera, this is where everything lies. So you have your mini USB. This is where you'll plug in your rear camera. You also have your micro SD card and then your GPS connection right over there. The Vantop is a really big screen. It's a 12 inch screen here, so it's definitely a huge mirror. And what I like about it too is you get all the modern comforts that I've been saying you need in a modern dash cam. That's GPS, so you can log your GPS activities. It'll just keep a route of where you're going with your speed and whatnot. Definitely comes in handy for certain situations. And then also dash cam should have a built in battery just for that parking assist for that parking monitor. So the Vantop not only has a huge 12.1 inch screen, but you also get GPS and you get a built-in battery. But let's take a look at what else we get inside the box here. This is everything you get in the box and I just wanted to show you this massive cable. Finally, dash cam companies are giving us a, a longer amount of cable. This rear camera cable is 23 feet, so that's definitely enough for most people. If you got a big truck, if you got that Raptor, you can go and buy some extra cable if you need to. But 23 feet for most people is enough to route this throughout your car if you want to. So I'm just gonna put this aside for right now. So you do get this cigarette lighter adapter. Now the GPS module, they claim you have to stick it on your window. That's fake news, guys. I actually put this inside my pillar very, very carefully, and I still get a signal. I still get a strong signal, so you don't have to put this on your windshield, just cluttering that up. Again, it's all about a clean install. It's all about keeping everything looking nice. You also get a tool to make that installation a little bit easier. And then you also get some sticker tape for that rear camera there, but this is the main attraction. This is a 12 inch mirror. I'm gonna take this off in a second, but I just wanna show you, it just goes over your existing OEM mirror in your car. Before we jump in the car, I just wanna show you the settings and I wanna show you a couple things about the Vantop dash cam. This is a hands-free dash cam, so you can use your voice. Turn on the screen. Okay. Show both camera. Okay. Show rear camera. Show front camera. Okay. So it is pretty cool to use your voice, I'm not gonna lie, but a couple notes though about the voice control. If you're listening to music or there's a lot of people in your car chatting and you're trying to talk to this camera, it's just not gonna pick up your voice, but if you just have basic noise from the road, I had no problems talking to the camera. Now it could come in handy, if you see something and you just want to tell it to take a photo, it can take a photo right away. Again, a nice safety feature. You can also switch the cameras. Say you're coming in from grocery shopping and you just want to activate that rear camera. It's a little easier just to speak with your voice than to go in and change all the settings with tap, tap, tap. It's a lot easier. It's a lot simpler. Now looking at the mirror itself, the LCD panel is quite nice. Even at night, I had no problems with this. I was able to see behind me and you can have it turn off completely once again. And it is a nice quality mirror again. So you can either have a video feed as you're driving or turn it off completely. Now the screen will show you some information, your time, your date. It'll even show you your speed when you're outside driving. Clicking on it, you get to see a little bit more information. You can turn on or off the microphone. Or what's pretty cool, you can use your voice. Turn off audio. And you can see I just turned off the audio. So again, it is useful to use your voice. What I like about these dash cams as well, you can drive with your video feed from the front, from the back, or both. Show both camera. Okay. So you can drive with this. This will be your rear camera on the, the right. 
this will be your front camera right here and you can also just swipe it depends on what you guys want to do but I like the ability to kind of drive and see both cameras I usually drive with this view personally going into the settings there's a couple options that I want to show you here so you have your loop recording time that you can change from one to five minutes you can also enable a time lapse so if you really want to save some space on your actual SD card this is a great way to do it and it makes for a pretty cool video to share if you're going on an awesome road trip you have your driving mode this is your sensitivity so if you do get in a little fender bender the g sensor sensitivity level will start recording and lock that video file change it from low to high whatever whatever suits your needs really and the same goes for parking mode now if you have a driveway like i do that's on a hill i usually leave mine on low or off because if i put it on any of the other settings i get a lot of false recordings and it just records all night long you can also input your license number and this will embed it into every video file Here's your sleep mode, so when you turn on the car, this does turn on and start recording automatically. And you can have the screen turn off after one or three minutes, or you can just press the button right on the bottom. Other than that, here are all your voice controls that you can talk to the camera and have it do certain functions. It is a cool feature to have on a dash cam. I quite like it. It does come in handy in certain situations. And basically, that's all the settings that you guys need to know. Now let's go ahead, jump in the car, check out the video quality. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. But I think it's a good camera. I think they did a really nice job again. It ticks all the boxes for a premium LCD mirror type of dash cam, GPS, built-in battery, voice recognition is a plus, and you get that 4K recording. But let me know what you think about the quality. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you guys next time. They made some deal here. There's some yeah. Google Netflix deal that occurred. I really wonder, and this is me purely hypothesizing, but Android TV's biggest market right now is in Europe. Show real and camera. As we know, okay. Um, and Google, they kind of have a lot of back and forth between antitrust things and things like that.